Hello again. I thought I'd um, give you another photography tip. Here's Bob helping me out as normal. But this is um, my Canon, my DSLR can, um, camera. It's my main camera. It's a Canon 5D Mark IV. I've only ever used Canon. I've only ever I've had three of them in total. I still got two, and that's only because that's what I learned. That's what I learned with basically. But um, there's another tip is to learn the exposure triangle as soon as you can. If you're getting into photography, learn the exposure triangle. And um, that's pretty much. I did that really qu quite quickly. And then I went straight into manual mode, and that's basically having the little dial there on the M. So I went into manual mode and I read the instructions quite a lot, a lot, a lot actually. And um, basically learnt where the aperture is, which is there on the Canon, it's here. It's different on other cameras maybe, that's the aperture value. And if you look here, when I move the dial it changes. Oh, there's Bob's gone off into his branch over there now. The little numbers there change, it goes 2.8 and all the way up to 2.3.2. And, and then you've got the shutter speed, which is this one. Dial here, and that can go all the way up and down. And the ISO is the next one, which is there. And you can change that by pushing one of these, I can't remember one of these now. But you can change that up or down. It's better to keep that as uh, um, 100 if you can. I would like to point out I very rarely use the tripod to take photos, only if I'm doing landscape shots. If I'm doing portrait shots, I generally always handhold it. And um, if I was going to photograph Bob now, I'd probably, the settings I'd use, I'd have the shutter speed, uh, the aperture open. So I'd have it on, say, right down 2.8, maybe up to f4, possibly, probably not to f4 though. And I'd have the um, shutter sp speed at probably around 400. And the ISO as low as possible at 100. And that is a little tip for you. Like I say, if you can learn the exposure triangle, that's a very good thing to learn. And it gives you pretty much full control over the camera. And you decide how your picture looks. So there we are, there's another little tip for you. It's from me and Bob. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please do ask. I'm always happy to help. There's a lot more to it than just that, but... It's a good good starting point. And also the other another very quick tip actually as well is when you're focusing, I personally only ever use one point. If you look through I can't show you here, but when you look through the um, viewfinder, you can change that's it Bob, he's giving a bit of a song. You can change the um there's a lot of little like little dots and if you have it on just fix one fix it on one. I always have it on pretty much on the centre spot so the centre of the lens is the strongest part of the lens. And that's a good tip as well. I never have it on anything other than that because it gives me complete control. So I hope that helps. See you again soon. With me and Bob, yeah, let's have a little zoom back in on Bob over there. Let's say hello to him. There we are, look. Hey, little buddy. There we are. See you soon.